Hi everyone, welcome back to Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. I'm really excited this week to be getting back in my van. I may not be camping yet, but I'm getting set up. I felt like my new little channel was falling apart even before I got started because I couldn't put up content that was helpful and related to van life as a person in a wheelchair. Well, I'm at the end of that now. I'll be reloading my van and explaining it as I go. My first tour was very basic. Now I'll explain things as I put them back in the van and especially as it relates to a person um, who's using a wheelchair uh, with the unique uh, needs that that brings. So um, once my van is set up, hopefully I'll be able to take off and go on a at least a two night stay or something like that before I actually uh, have to move out of my house in about three and a half weeks. So anyways, enjoy this video. It's actually coming in two parts because uh, I wasn't able to get um, everything else done that I wanted to do uh, before I have to have this uploaded tomorrow. So um, just enjoy the video. Oh, actually one more thing that I wanted to say. A lot of people have been commenting on my video about Jeffy Bear who um, has a channel. He's uh, a local BC person, van lifer, who uh, due to diabetes has had two of his, his two legs amputated just very recently. And I just wanted to let people know that I am aware of him. Thank you for always uh, uh, letting me know about him. I was aware of him. I've been following him for probably a year now. And um, my heart goes out to him, but I can see that he's doing really, really well. Uh, he has a lot of support and I have tried reaching out to him, but he hasn't, his channel is much bigger than mine. And so, um, it's a lot harder to keep track of your count comments, I think when your channel gets bigger. And so he hasn't seen that and that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. I think he's doing fine and he doesn't need any input from me. Anyways, if you ever see this Jeffy Bear, um, just know that, uh, I'm happy that things are getting on a better track for you and I pray for your continued healing and just hope that you will be back in a van soon. Anyways, let's uh, watch the video. All right, all is not going smoothly. I broke a fingernail. Wah. Um, so I've got this much in. <sighs> Obviously I have to do something about that tall shelf, but I want the tall shelf there because I can fit more stuff in it. So back to the drawing board. So Frank, who fixed my heater the other day, is now working on the interior of my van. My uh, shelves were very bent and crooked, and uh, he's going to help me straighten them out. So here's what we did. We took a board, and we took another board, and we screwed them together so that we had a level surface. Now we brought the shelves back in and put them on top and as you can see there's a piece of uh, rubber sticking out that's that anti um, what do you call it anti skid stuff that you can put under um, area rugs in your house that's not the one that we stuck with I just was using that um, one that we had lying around uh, you'll see in a bit what we did and how nice it looks I know these pictures aren't very good, but what we did to keep the tall bank of shell, uh, drawers steady is we used a zip tie and tied it to the clothes hanger that the that comes with the car, the little hook that they have up at the top on the roof of the car. And my four-legged neighbor Oscar decided to come for a visit. Welcome to my van, Oscar. So this is the yoga mat that I'm using for my bed. Uh, it folds four ways, but I actually only unfold it three ways because there's a dip in the floor up towards the front. So I keep the back two uh, 
um, pieces still folded and only unfold the other three panels, or two, I guess. So I push it forward. And then I pull it back a little bit. Just pull it back until it snags on the lip in the floor. And that's good. So after I had the yoga mat in place, there was a gap between the top of the, the back of the car and where the yoga mat come, came to, so I had to fill in that gap. So I had these other little foamy mats, rugs, whatever you call them, clipped together uh, rubber mats that, um, that you could put in your house. So I cut them, I cut one piece in thirds and placed them at the end, stacked them and placed them at the end of the bed so that it's the same level. didn't matter that this bed is so patchworky on the bottom because I'm putting a, um, a two inch memory foam on top fold in half so it'll be a four inch memory foam on top of all this anyways. And this is what the finished bed looks like. You can see how I've left it folded at that end and the foamy, I just pulled that out. It will be up snug against the yoga mat. So that's it for the bed. One thing that's really important to me as a person who uses a wheelchair who's trying to camp in her van is to be able to access everything or at least most things from inside and outside of the van so that if I forget something I don't have to jump back into the van. So these shelves that I've had for years are really handy for that because they pull this way but they also pull that way. So when I'm inside the van I can pull the drawer that way. When I'm outside of the van I can pull it this way and this is going to be all my kitchen stuff. And then for the fridge I had to open it this way because so that is the back of the van which is maybe a little bit awkward but I wanted the controls over on that side for when I'm plugging it in and I forget there was another reason why I wanted it facing this way as well oh yeah because the controls are over there it's harder for me to reach in and grab stuff so I'm closer to the hole in the box right there from the outside from the inside it'll be a little bit easier so anyways that's uh that's that and the sun just came out and here's the final well the finished product of the first stage of loading my van <laughs>